Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, glad to have you as part of the family. And if you are returning, happy to see you again. Hey, tonight we are doing feminine care. <laughs> or smell good feminine care, however you want to put it. But yeah, we are talking about my top five perfumes. Ooh! Welcome back. Yes, we are talking about my top five perfume that you must have or that I love, right? So the first one that we're going to talk about is going to be, of course, no other than Chanel number five. Yes, Chanel number five is a top female fragrance that every female must have in their perfume collection. I find Chanel number no. 5 to be very strong. It is more of a nighttime perfume. It is long lasting. It gives you at least 8 hours of longevity. So must have in your collection. Some of the notes that are in this are bergamot, lemon, Jasmine, Rose, Oris Ruth, you have Vanilla, you have Musk, Moss, Sandalwood, and some Amber. You, have, you also have some Patchouli. So, this is... Oh, oh my god, it smells so good. I haven't used it in a while. And I must give you... I'm gonna get, let you guys in a little secret. Or not even but a secret, but... I've had this since 2011. This was gifted by a friend of mine to me for Christmas from 2011. And look at my bottle. Oh my goodness. You don't need a lot of this. This spritz on your wrist and you are good to go. So get yourself a, num a Chanel number no. 5. It is amazing. Smelling it makes me want to put it on. Oh my goodness. Up next is my Chanel Coco Mademoiselle. I almost dropped the bottle. But, oh, uh, Coco Mademoiselle is long lasting. Again, the longevity of this is up to eight hours. This is more of a daytime. If you want to smell sexy going to work or just sexy throughout the day running errands, this is your go-to. Um, special occasion if you're going for lunch, if you're going for brunch, if you're going for anything in the daytime. Coco Mademoiselle is definitely, definitely your Chanel to get. Um, some of the notes that are in the Coco Mademoiselle is it is an oriental floral. So let's get that. It is an oriental floral. And in the Coco Mademoiselle, you have some mandarin orange, some bergamot, orange blossom, the middle notes are Turkish rose, some jasmine, some patchouli, some white musk vanilla, um, and some bean, tonka beans. So I absolutely love this. It is so it while it is in the floral oriental, it is so sexy. It is it gives you that sexy vibe. Oh, this smells amazing. I love it. I love it. Get you some Coco Mademoiselle. And guys, for my third top five of my top five, and these are not just like the numbers. They're just my top five, and I'm just giving you the, like them in numbers of me picking them up, is Bon number nine, Oster Place. Ooh, just look at this bottle. It is gorgeous. Man, even if this this perfume was not gorgeous, you would want this in your collections just for the bottle. It is just a sexy, um, so gorgeous. This is just, oh, I just want to look at it all day. But yes, this is Bond Number no. 9, Oster Place. And I think this is unisex. A man, a man could get away wearing this, and it's not overbearing. It's not too on the feminine side. I love this. This was gifted to me by my husband. My husband loves Bond Number no. Nine. He has like a collection of Bond Number no. Nine, and I'm telling you, I have a couple that he's bought me, but this one, 
hmm, off the female or off the unisex, whatever this category this wants to fall into. This here, whew. I'm gonna spray it. I have to spray it. Oh, oh. <laughs> This is gorgeous. This is a very gorgeous scent. You want to get it. It is of the floral woody musk scent. So you're getting some floral scent, but you're also getting that hoodie, woody and that musk if you like that kind of scent. But I must say that the notes blend in so perfectly where you're not getting one scent um, over the other um, some of the notes that are in here are violet leaf mandarin orange and the mandarin orange is probably what gives it that subtle sexy scent uh, freesia red poppy I don't know what that is or it's root and a base note of course is musk tea wood and amber which gives it that woody scent and gives it that long-lasting note oh this is gorgeous I would say that this um, in the first two, I told you that the Chanel number no. five is more of a nighttime and the Coco Mademoiselle is more of a daytime. This I find to be more of a summery scent for me. I would wear this more in the summertime or summer going into fall where it's not too cold where you can still smell it. Gorgeous. Just gorgeous. And up next for number four of my top five fragrances is going to be the Olympia by Paco Rabanne or Paco Rabanne, however, based on your background, based on your accent, however you say it, I say Paco Rabanne. Um, this is Olympia. Now look how cute this is. It actually has like the Olympic um, flowers on the side gorgeous like just gorgeous it's a very um unique style gorgeous scent i blind bought this meaning i never i did not smell it before i bought it i saw this on another um channel in a top five and i was like oh i like the bottle i'm going to give it a try and hands down it was a great decision it was absolutely a great decision some of the notes that are in here are um let's see it is on the oriental floral side so this has uh, jasmine green mandarin green, ginger flower in the for the middle notes it's salt and vanilla and the base note has ambergris cashmere wood and sand sandal sandalwood and i find that this is not too overbearing for the workplace so this is actually not bad for the workplace it's very catchy you are it's going to be an eye turner this is hands down a really good scent it's I think it gives me at least six hours of longevity so that's good that's that's pretty good and for the last one that is in my top five tum -tum 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 -tum, <laughs> it's going to be the Tom Ford Noir or Noir Tom Ford Noir let me tell you talk about winter sexy fall sexy this right here <laughs> this right here this is perfect for the fall and the winter months it is so strong oh oh gotta gotta put some on oh my god mm. gorgeous oh just gorgeous now let me tell you this is so strong this is very woody it gets very musk very musk very woody very strong so if this if that's not the kind of scent that you like then i'm not going to lie to you this may not be for you the first time i i, I used this i had a headache and i literally did bomb bomb as i usually do neck neck wrist 
and it was so strong i literally started getting an instant headache and i was like oh my goodness i don't think this is gonna be for me this is way too strong so i let it sit in throughout the day the headache did go away and the scent was just so strong everyone just kept asking me what are you wearing gosh that smells good and i was like mm, okay all right so it literally took a month of me wearing it for the headache to go away every time i wore it within the first month i did get a headache it is that strong so where i had to figure out how much of it do i need so when i wear this now i only do one spray and that is good enough where i don't get a headache and it lasts I'm gonna say this lasts all day because it is so strong but the longevity of this is at least up to 10 hours very very strong and let me see if I have some of the, the notes here are violet pink pepper caraway bergamot bourbon iris among wood so this is a very strong but very worth every single penny <laughs> it's worth every single penny it's a must have so yes guys that's it for this video if i'm going to leave the names of all of these down below in the description box um if that's something that you if just in case you want to check these out the um, they're gorgeous so number one was my chanel number five number two was um chanel coco mademoiselle number three i believe was oster place number four was olympia by paco raban and number five was tom ford nor so yes as always guys thank you for tuning in glad to have you as part of the family share subscribe like do all of the of the above um and i will see you guys in the next video bye